Hey, this one's real quick. Uh, in case you've ever had to uninstall Wacom drivers uh, properly, I just wanted to include some step-by-step uh, -step ways to do that to make sure if you're fighting with drivers or conflicts, uh, you know exactly how to get these things out. First thing we'll do in Windows Explorer is to make sure hidden items is unchecked. The next thing we're going to do is navigate to the path on your screen. You can pause it and we're going to open the Wacom file utility to get a good backup. You save the file anywhere you want, it doesn't really matter. But the last step is we're going to remove all preferences that you have after the backup, of course, uh, to make sure we clear out any hidden settings. Now when this is done, you're going to open your apps and programs and you're going to remove any trace of Wacom software, drivers, utilities, anything, you're going to clear it all out. Once all this is uninstalled, you're going to reboot your system. Once you get into your system, you're going to navigate to all the paths on here and make sure none of these folders exist. You're just going to delete them all. You don't need them, and that's the legacy stuff that stays behind that can screw you up. The next to last step is to clear out any of these DLLs you see on the screen. These are any legacy things that are hanging around that previous uninstalls didn't get rid of. You want to clear these out before we go and download the driver. Once you're sure you've got all these folders and DLLs complete, you're going to want to reboot once again. The final step is you're going to go and download the latest Wacom driver and do a fresh install and that should clear up any issues you might have had from any failed uninstalls before.